Alright, so I'm down here at the creek. Oh yeah, came over here and test pan this little area. Plenty of black sand, but a whole lot of nothing. That bedrock that you're seeing right there has been cleaned out several times. I know because I've run a pan in and out of it. Nothing. Um, I tried down here on the end. Nothing. Uh, but I started pulling out some of this material that you see down up and under here. And I got a few nice little flecks, but the root system is exposed. And as I put my shovel in, I am pulling the roots up, which is what I do not want to do. This tree, you can see, looks like it's been here for a very long time. So I'm really not trying to disturb him for a couple flex of gold here and there. Easier ways to go about it. But anyway, uh, that's what we have so far this morning. If it'll focus. There you go. So that's pretty good. Not so bad. All right, back to it. We're going to prospect downstream a little bit, see what we get. So uh, I dug down in here. It was uh, a little productive. It's nothing to write home to mom about. But, uh, we'll take a look at it in a minute. I had to pan down in here. As you can see, the water is very thin. Um, take a look at some gold. I would stay, but that's just not enough to stay for. So hopefully it'll focus here in a minute. And not focusing. So five, four, three, two, one. Let's try again. Stupid camera. <sighs> All right, so I guess we'll take a look and see what we got here. There we go. So there's some gold. Not fantastic, but I don't have to stay here all day for it, so. Keep moving upstream. All right, so I'm at the last I'm way upstream now. I've been punching holes here and there. Not really too excited by what I see, but I don't have a lot of water. So I definitely punched the hole there. I came over here and slid across the bottom into the side. Being sure not to go up too high into the bank. Because, then you know, the water, if it's up normal, it's going to be about that high. Uh, not a whole lot. That stuff is like crazy packed in there. That, that'll take a day just to deal with on its own. Uh, came over here. So you see i got this weird little S-band. So it's like, bam. It's all caught up. Exposing the whole creek bed. And then boom, and then straight down and to the left. So uh, I dug out some of the holes. This is easy material to work. So I could probably sit out here all day and not worry too much about it. The skeeters are uh, getting on my nerves though. Um, didn't find a lot, nothing fantastic. But uh, yeah, hopefully that'll. That will fade in. If not, then we'll just try it again. There it goes. So, yeah, like I said, nothing fantastic, but just for out punching holes, it's not bad. But uh, at least I know that it's way upstream, so that's good. Um, next time, though, I'm going to go all the way out to the mouth. Where it hits the lake and uh, follow it around to another tributary. See what I can find. That's it for the day. Take care until next weekend.
about uh, two hours, uh, maybe an hour and a half in. I've already cleaned some bedrock this morning. I'm getting some of that down in here. About to clean that up there. I dug this down, but then the bank kind of fell into it a little bit, this uh, collection. So I'm probably going to go back a little further. Now, you'll remember this spot because I cleaned out this uh, maybe two weeks ago. Um, I'm also going to want to pull this back. This looks like it's been untouched for a very long time. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Uh, nice and sunny, probably 70 degrees. Uh, good old North Georgia. But let's look at some gold first. They're not bad. Um, could be better. I'm going to stay here for most of the day, so we'll see what the end of the day brings. All right, talk to you soon. All right, so it's been about a, another hour and a half. As you can see, I dug those two out. I found some nice little, um, I don't know, little flax, almost pickers uh, in there. We'll go look at them in a minute. And then this is the bank, so that gravel bar that I dug out. And so I can get down into this crevice on this bedrock. I'm not done cleaning it, but what I can tell you is if you're cleaning bedrock, you're going to start with a pile up there like that. And you're going to find some gold, like little specks and whatnot, and then you're going to have a couple pans that don't have gold. Don't stop. Because if you stop, then you miss all of the stuff that has made its way all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see here, you know, some of these cracks are really deep and they're thin and stuff can just wiggle their way down in there. So when you're cleaning bedrock, remember, clean it. Clean it all the way down to the surface. Don't stop just because you found a big piece. Don't stop because you just found a bunch of little pieces. And don't definitely don't stop um, because you have an empty pan a couple of times. Um, just be persistent. Keep going. Uh, you just never know what will happen. And I say all of this um, because it's really important. Um, you know, we're going to go look at some gold. And so far, you know, I've been bringing in this kind of gold today. And this seems pretty normal. Not a big deal. Um, you know, it's nothing special. It's nothing fantastic either. I mean, we're in Georgia. I should be seeing a lot bigger pieces. But I had some pans that were empty, and I was sitting there going, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should stop, find another hole. But I said, no, let me get down to the bedrock, and we'll see. And if there is something in there, there is. And if there isn't, there isn't. Well, this is what happens. Persistence pays off. So I end up with a nice little pepper. Oh, it made the sound. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, nice little picker. Fantastic. So I'm actually going to go back in there and clean it out some more. Make sure that it is spotless. And uh, maybe move up upstream just a little bit. Talk to you soon. I went back and I cleaned it as a just in case. Uh, I found a couple more small flex, but nothing too major. Uh, I did come upstream a little bit and I uh, cleaned out this little pit. Now, there were some good little pieces of gold in there. I mean, nothing to write home to mom about, but definitely some nice little pieces. It's a nice little trot. I'm going to have to remember this for the future. But uh, yeah, we're right down at the creek. And uh, in Georgia. And this is the take on. I'm tired. It's time to go home. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, not bad for, for the day. That, uh, that big boy right there makes me very happy, though. Very, very pleased with that. So. 
All right, well, until next time, signing off.